Hi, my name is Glenn. This is Karen, my wife, and this is our bus. Hello, everyone. So today I'm working on the bus again. It's supposed to get about 100 degrees today, uh, maybe even 102, I believe, is what I've heard. And so what I'm doing here is I'm working on this front driver's area, and I've already put the one video out showing that I'm kind of cleaning this area up. So what I need to do though, before I can before I can work on this floor here and squaring this off, uh, you know, changing this grade or changing this elevation here uh, to come out, before I do that and make a permanent uh, change here, I need to have this bus seat installed so that I can see how it functions as far as going up and down, backwards and forwards. And uh, so I've just got this this pedestal. Actually, I've only got one bolt in there. This one here is just sitting in the hole. But uh, and this one's not even really tight. But I just need it to stay firm because what I need to do is I just really need to see how the seat's going to function before I can do things like like finish this back area here you know what i'm gonna cover this with because it may depend depend on how the seat functions as to how thick this material can be right here so um anyway and then eventually what i want to do is go ahead and permanently mount the seat put my carpet down in here up to the nosing of this tread and um uh and then just protect it in the meantime while i'm working on the rest of the bus because i I want to have the carpet under all this stuff, but I need to get the stuff in so that I can drive it around. I need to go down and get it licensed as a motorhome. I have to weigh it and uh, stuff like that and get some, uh, anyway, I just need to do a lot of stuff with that. And, uh, and I need to get my pedals installed and I want to bolt that down with the carpet underneath it. I don't want to be taking all that stuff back up again. I don't want to take the seat pedestal back up again. I can easily take the seat off the pedestal as far as that goes if I had to but but what I did here was on this whole front driver's area in this entryway is I took and I sanded this the corrugations off of this uh, vinyl so here's the previous condition and I literally just sanded this down with my seven inch grinder with a with about a 50 grit wheel on it a sanding disc and, uh, and I sanded it down so that it's the same level across here onto that part of the floor so I can so I can glue down my my two foot carpet squares uh, all the way uh, back and so this this is my nosing material that I'll be putting in here that'll set on top of this and uh, it's, it's a real super thick uh, rubber uh, or vinyl nosing material and the carpet will actually go up inside this edge and once that's down and so with sanding this off it gave me a nice square corner here a tighter square corner so it'll fit up inside this the square corner here so it'll be a really nice install for that and the reason I sanded this down is because I wouldn't be able to glue carpet down to uh, this corrugated part so I sanded it flat and it really came out good and so I'm hoping that'll work out pretty good so so I'm gonna go ahead and and mock up the seat here uh, hook up the airline to it see if I can get it to function and uh, see if I can get some of this stuff bolted back down so that I can drive this bus around so anyway we'll see how that video goes and thanks for watching
okay so that's it for <clears throat> this video I think <clears throat> anyway so so I've got this piece of carpet in here uh, at the driver's area and I think it looks pretty good I still got to screw down these these flanges and I was able to clean that stainless up a little bit and back in there and I've got my paddles just sitting here temporary I've got to bolt those down yet but the main thing was I needed to get the seat pedestal down so that I can install my seat uh, which is here uh, so that I can go ahead and drive the bus I need to take it down and have it weighed and um, and stuff like that just to get it set up for uh, to license as a motorhome and I, I kind of hated to do this carpet here like this right now with the bus so so deep in construction but uh, I think it was important that I get this stuff installed and I don't want to install it twice I spent almost all day just monkeying with the seat pedestal and I thought there's no way I'm gonna do all that twice so so I'm gonna mount the seat uh, finish this front up here I'm gonna go ahead and finish the floor uh, up to this this first tread nosing or landing nosing or whatever and um, that way I can work on this front here and get it done so the main thing is that um, is that you know I can go ahead and cover this stuff up I can go ahead and put some cardboard on it or some plywood or whatever and uh, and I can go ahead and get it uh, where I can protect it for the rest of the project I'll have to cover the seat and stuff like that which you know is no big deal I, you know you don't want to be spraying foam on the on the dash and the steering wheel and things like that anyway so you'll want to protect all this stuff anyway so I can just go ahead and protect just this front end here and uh, get this front part covered up and the rest of the bus should be able to continue to be under construction so that's the video for today everybody and i hope you appreciate it and i think it came out looking pretty good so i really do appreciate everybody watching and take care of yourselves thanks